I'm Mark Medina, the Warriors beat writer with the Bay Area News Group, another edition of the Warriors Looking Forward video series. Here are the Warriors got three home games this week, Wednesday against the Oklahoma City Thunder, Friday against the Portland Trailblazers, and Saturday against the Sacramento Kings. The first order of business is the Warriors actually win a game. They're coming off a three-game trip where they lost all three of those games. The first time that's happened under the Steve Kerr era when he got hired here four years ago. Uh, so they had losses against Houston, against Dallas, against San Antonio. Common denominator, no Steph Curry. First eliminated Draymond Green and then Draymond sitting out the past two games because of his right foot still acting up. And I don't know if we're going to see them anytime soon. Steph Curry is still going to be out this week. Steve Kerr was mentioning the possibility that maybe Draymond comes back for Wednesday's game against the Thunder, but it's not entirely clear. To a lesser extent, it's not entirely clear if Alfonso McKinney will be back as well. He's missed the past two games with a left foot injury. So where do the Warriors go from here? Well, it all comes down to can Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson start making shots. They've been struggling from the field while also taking a lot of the shots because, hey, they have some uh, all-star teammates that aren't in the lineup. But Steve Kerr has been talking about the importance of moving the ball and playing with energy. And it's a fine line because outside of those two guys, the Warriors don't have a definitive bench. Steve Kerr is tinkering with rotations and there's less space to work with because you don't have a guy like Steph Curry commanding so many double teams. You don't have like a guy like Draymond Green being able to play make on any uh, part of the court. But when you add all those things up, it also doesn't help that the Warriors were coming off an adversarial week where they're only a week removed from Kevin Durant and Draymond Green getting into it, arguing about a play call at the end of regulation against the Clippers. That resulted in Draymond Green gaining a suspension the next day against the Hawks because he was yelling at Kevin Durant with some expletives, making some personal attacks, and also talking about his pending free agency next summer. Uh, so the Warriors think that they're getting past that. They've been showing better energy, but it hasn't resulted in the bottom line uh, results that they want. But uh, I think the Warriors are optimistic they can turn around because they're going to be playing at Oracle Arena for the first time in about a week. Uh, thanks so much for watching. You can be sure to follow our coverage at the Mercury News website. Follow me on Twitter, Mark G underscore Medina, and be sure to subscribe to the Warriors HQ newsletter so that hits your inbox every day.